Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about our aquaponics, which is in our greenhouse. Our greenhouse is a passive solar heated greenhouse. We don't put a lot of energy into it. We grow plants and fish in our greenhouse year round. And we wanna invite you to come in and take a look. So this is our greenhouse. Um, we have a flood and drain system here. We have our fish for our aquaponic system down in the floor here. We have towers for the aquaponic system on the north side of the greenhouse with our insulation and reflection. We have blossom bags where we grow strawberries. And then we have fabric pots where we have these gorgeous peppers. Uh, we also grow cucumbers and melons in these pots. This is our summer season. And in the summer season, we grow these sort of hothouse plants. In the winter season, we switch over and we grow plants that can take some frost and take some chill. So we have the tank down into the ground and it's surrounded by dirt, which helps the temperature keep stable. Um, our temperature right now, according to the box, is 81 degrees. Uh, the coldest we've seen it is 42 degrees in the winter time. We don't heat the greenhouse, but we do heat the water a little bit in the winter time to keep it at about 45 or so. We have one pump down in the bottom of the system. We have the thermometer and we have the thermostat and we have a heater. And this is our heater. All of that runs on one outlet. And then we have the pump back here, which runs on another outlet. So we have a total of two things plugged in in the greenhouse. So the pump is in the bottom and it sends water up these black pipes, which split and they flow into the beds. The water fills up the bed to a certain level. When it gets to a certain height, it hits this green capped object over here called a bell siphon and it drains it back down. So the beds don't overflow. The water flows into them constantly, but they drain about every 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how fast you set your water flow. This is called a flood and drain system. It is um, a hydroponic material that we grow in. This is called Hydroton. It's a clay um, that's made in Germany. Now we of course aren't running hydroponics, we're running aquaponics. We use our fish to send our nutrient load up into our grow beds. The other pipe, the one that runs across the top here, ties into our towers. And these towers are part of our aquaponics system. So you can see this tower on the end that is planted out. We let this one grow for just a bit, and then we plant out the next one. We let the two of them grow for just a bit, and then we plant out the next one. Let the three of them grow for just a bit, then we plant out the next one. And what that does is it has one tower on the end that's always ready to be harvested, and one tower on the far side that always has baby plants in it. So you rotate. So every week, when we get this thing really cranking, we can pull a tower off and harvest it, move everybody down, take the empty tower, put it back on the end, put baby plants in it, and start the sequence all over again. So it rotates through. With the flood and drain beds, you don't do that as much. You put in plants, you let them grow, and you thin as they start to crowd. For instance, this Swiss chard here, this rainbow chard, we need to thin this out. I'm probably gonna have that for dinner tonight. Um, we also have some fresh strawberries growing. We've got some parsley, some dill. We have kale, and we have basil growing in the flood and drain beds right now. In aquaponics, pH is everything. You can put as much nutrients in your water as possible, and if the pH is wrong, the plants can't uptake it out of the water. So you're always trying to uh, make sure your pH will work for your plants especially, but also for your fish, because your fish are supplying the nutrients. So fish are happiest at a pH of around eight. Um, plants are happiest at a pH around 5.5 or six. And so you have to sort of combine those two so they overlap and both can coexist. So a pH of about 6.8 to 7 works pretty well. It's low enough that the plants can uptake almost all of the available nutrients, and it's high enough to keep the fish out of any danger. Uh, and the, the interesting part is the bacteria, the nitrified bacteria that runs this whole program, they are happiest at about 7. So that overlap between the fish and the plants is perfect for your bacteria. Now, it's important to understand that aquaponics is not hydroponics, and it's not aquaculture. It's a combination of the two. Aquaculture is when you're raising just fish and it has a lot of waste products associated with it. Very high end filters, um, expensive water treatments to pull the nutrients out of the water. Ironically, hydroponics is the process of putting chemical nutrients 
into water to grow plants with. So you take these two systems and you combine them, you take the waste stream from one, becomes a resource stream for another, and you eliminate the need for expensive chemicals for hydroponics or expensive filtration systems for aquaculture. All right, folks, that was the tour of our greenhouse and our aquaponics system. We hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video or email them to me. I'll do my best to answer them. If you have information you would like to share with us, uh, we would gladly accept that and we'll share that out with everyone else. So please send us your information as well. If you're interested in aquaponics, we invite you to go out to the World Wide Web and do a little research and also come to our website, righttothrive.org. We've done some research of our own. We've got some favorite products some great links. Um, check us out and we'll share everything that we have with you. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.